Welcome to Callus Coder. Today we will be robbing the game genie and grant me two wishes for Mario Bros. 3. That is almost infinite lives and for Mario to be a big boy. I don't like tiny Italians, I like big Italians. Especially big female Italians. What are you looking at? Motherfucker! So in the last episode we conveniently programmed a Game Genie code generator in ZIG for the NES. Now the reason for that was that I actually wanted to revisit Mario Bros and then do it with infinite lives and for Mario to be a big boy. Which adds to the infinite lives uh, hack as you will see in a moment. Now for the people that haven't watched the last video, the reason the Game Genie works and how it works is you stick in the cartridge, oh, not in the back but in the front, never, never enter through the back, always do it through the front. So you have your cartridge, your Game Genie and your Game Genie goes into your nest like so. Now those magical codes contain of a uh, address that is on the ROM, the data byte that you actually want to put on the bus instead of the data byte that is on that ROM on that address and a compare byte. Now the compare byte is a nice feature if you just used a 32 kilobyte ROM because well Mario Bros for example is only 32 kilobytes but you had the Japanese version, the American version and the European version I believe and they could have been on different addresses. So in case you didn't want to break your game you could have that optional compare byte. In this case the compare byte is crucial for us because this ROM has an MMC, a memory management controller which swaps in different ROM banks. So instead of just having one address that is called for example 91F8 we have four or five, I don't even know how big the ROM is in here. So yeah, we need that compare byte. Now the big question is how are we actually going to generate the right code? How do we know which address, which byte and which compare byte? Well, back in the 90s that was really, really a hassle for us. What we actually did was open up the cartridges, solder off the ROMs, dump them with a multi-IO card that we created uh, my friend and I in college. And that same multi-IO card also connected to the address bus, the data bus and some of the control pins of the CPU on a NAS. So we basically had a real-time logic analyzer and debugger. Although the debugger was very buggy. Uh, it was more like a bugger than a debugger. But yeah, that's how we reverse engineered the codes back then. These days, it's really simple. We just use an emulator. Usually I use MAME, as you saw in my other game hacking tutorials. But I figured, well, let's change this up also for me and let's use one of the more commonly used NES emulators. So let's jump in and do some code reverse sing and then generate the Game Genie codes and see them running on real hardware. Let's jump in. It's going to be a quickie. We like a, a quickie. Especially with an Italian woman. So for this video I am using FCE UX on Linux and we opened the ROM that I uh, dumped from my original ROM, <coughs> downloaded. Sorry Nintendo, I know I shared an office with you here in uh, the Netherlands, but yeah, I downloaded it. Kill me. All right, and then we look for the RAM address. And as you can see, we can actually see the RAM being updated in real time. That is convenient. So what do we need to look for? Four or three probably. So let's search in the RAM. So most emulators allow you to search the RAM because, well, the RAM is small. So four and search and nothing. Why, why isn't this working? Oh, there are operators here. Uh, equal to, is there anything else to click? No, just click search. And only five values. Well, this is going to be easy. 
Let's also check if perhaps there is three, because it's maybe zero bytes. No, so four it is. Now uh, let's commit some suicide and see which one changes. We should see a three somewhere. Yes, there we have it. Oh, this was quick and easy. I love a quickie. So let's use the inbuilt debugger to set a breakpoint on that address 736 that contains the lives and set it to write. That way, as soon as something is being written there, it should stop the application. And it should only be written when we die. Okay, let's die. And now it should stop. And it doesn't stop, why not? Oh, it wasn't enabled. Let's do it again. Imagine how tedious this was back in the 90s when you had to do this with hardware. Okay, kill him, Mario. And uh, stop, stop the pizza. Yes. So we definitely stopped at the decrement of the address. Hmm. Yeah, so what we can do in this case, because we can only update one byte and it's not ideal. So I will make a note what is there. I always make notes when I'm uh, hacking what is there, what I'm going to change this into. But I'm thinking about changing this into an ink. But as you can see, there is a BMI below it that if Mario has eaten too many pizzas and his BMI is too high, uh, basically that means if the lives is negative, then it's game over. So if we gather 128 lives by incrementing it, we still die. So it's not really an infinite life hack, but we can only update a single byte really. Or I would need to sacrifice three Game Genie codes and change all the three bytes into knobs. That would also be a valid uh, way of working. That's why I usually patch ROMs and don't really use the Game Genie, but yeah, let's change this into an ink. So I open this website to find the machine code instructions. For the deck it is DE and we want to change the deck to the similar instruction with an increment. So uh, let's look for ink and ink absolute with X offset is FE. So we're going to change DE to FE. So we basically have the game genie code already. So I go to the cheat menu and uh, well, give it a nice uh, descriptive name. So technically it's uh, 128 lives minus the four that we already have. So 124 lives, but yeah. Then the address, well, we found that on uh, 911C. And then the current value that we want to have, that's FE, and we need to compare it with DE. That's the... Yeah, that should work. So if we click on add and we then play it, we should have basically infinite lives. Let's check this. So let's start the game. Four lives currently. Okay, let's go to stage one. Right, and just uh, commit some suicide with Mario. Well, first jump this Pumba or Kumba, whatever it's called. All right, and then, yeah, zap me, baby. All right, I'm dead. No, 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 because I got a Game Genie code. He granted me wishes of almost infinite lives. <laughs> I can now beat the game. <laughs> yeah, here I come again. Yeah, look at that. And now I have six lives. Yes. <laughs> but now I want to be big all the time. So I start the game in uh, RAM monitoring mode. And I first uh, try to grow Mario. It's a bit laggy because I'm currently monitoring literally everything. And it's an old laptop. So I'm looking for value one. I figured that small Mario must be value zero, right? That is just your programmer brain making assumptions and you're checking these assumptions. But yeah, there's a lot of ones. That doesn't make it easy, does it? Hmm, right. Well, what can we do? Uh, we can actually check the number of changes because technically it should only be have changed once. Uh, actually, I now see 
that I, that you can actually check for the previous value. When I was actually doing this live, I didn't see it, but I saw this address and I figured mm, maybe this is it. Changed twice, but it should have been changed once, of course. So let's get small again. Let's the Viagra has taken its effect and it's now small again. Oh, and now you instantly see that the zero ED is actually decremented. So this probably is your size, a size one or a size zero. Hmm, let's play with this. To test my assumption, I go to the hex editor and change that address uh, to a three. And look at that, we have Rocky Raccoon. Woohoo! Yeah, so this definitely is the one. So uh, let's create a code that looks for this and sets it to one every time it's decremented. Because unlike some claims on the internet, size does matter. And this helps us also with our infinite lives hack, because when we're tall and we get hit, we don't shrink, so the second time we get hit, we don't die. It's as simple as that. So let's put a right breakpoint on that 00ED address and just uh, play and commit some suicide and see where it is called. This, by the way, is my favorite Mario, though, with the tail. <laughs> I love that. It's a great game. Now kill me. Okay, and we froze, that is good. And we see a store Y on ED. And before that we have a decrement Y. So if we change this decrement Y on A3EF into a no operation and no up, we basically never shrink when we're this tall. Easy peasy. So let's write up this cheat. We put a knob on EA3EF, where previously there was an EA. So I'm still small because we haven't grown yet. But let's take, the, take that toadstool, look at that. Hey, why do I get the fireball Mario? Oh, whatever. Well, at least when I touch it, or it touches me inappropriately, I might add, then I do not shrink, look at that. So it's working, awesome. So let's create the Game Genie codes and let's watch it on the Game Genie. So the first code was V Y double O G O V S. And now let's create that second code A uh, three E F. We change that into a no op, which is zero E A and it was zero 88. And that is Game Genie code X V V X Y U E E. Let's write this down. And then we get out the trusted NES and try it on real hardware with the real Game Genie. Okay, so let's stick uh, again, not in the back, that and that. Let's take out my EverDrive. By the way, this also allows you to set Game Genie code, so you don't need a real Game Genie. Let's put it in. Let's turn it on. Okay, so let's enter these codes. See if I die. Yeah, I just keep getting taller. So we technically cannot die anymore. Except when we jump here. And then this should go to five. Yes! It's working on hardware as well. And I'm big again. <laughs> I love this. What happens if we get this one? Oh my god, turn into that one. I hate this one. 
The thing is, I can't die. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you can't touch me, baby! <laughs> the genie granted me two wishes. And my third one. Yeah, I keep that for last. <laughs> so there you have it. We created Game Genie Codes to hack Mario Bros. To give him basically almost infinite lives. And always be a big Mario. Yeah. And this, to be honest, is my all-time favorite NES game. And the way that we now create these codes in just mere minutes using an emulator compared to what we had to go through in the early 90s, it's, it's just insane. It used to be very involved creating these and now you just instantly create them. So yeah, I hope you learned something. I hope you had some retro fun. I hope you dig up one of these Game Genies, they cost next to nothing, and an old NES, and just relive those days of the late 80s, early 90s. Some of the best days of my life. See you in the next one.